Welcome back, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm Brent O'Leary. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I'm Hammer Trinidad. Your KNET News starts now. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Please stand with us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Students and staff, the 2018 intramural basketball season is approaching and will begin most likely next week. The format will be three on three games, will be 30 minutes each, and each team will have four players. Games will be played in the mornings at about 7.15 in the morning. And uh, yeah, please email Mr. Davis for stop by 8.17 to sign up for the season. And to sign up, each team will need their team captain, email address, team name, and a list of all four players turned in by January 12th. So hurry up before it's too late. And the Birds and the Beans is open every day from 7.40 to 8.45. Please come in and enjoy a nice cup of hot cocoa, cappuccino, or coffee for a dollar. Yes, and court warming order forms are in, so all you need to do is ask your fifth hour teacher, and if not, there's additional forms outside room 106. These forms, along with the payment, need to be turned into Ms. Plaster's room 106 by no later than Monday, January 15th. Senior girls lock-in forms are due today. The fee is $25 and can be turned into Mrs. Leggett her mailbox, or the student council table at lunch. Yes, and we got Nick and Zach here in the studio today, so let's head on over to sports. Good morning, Liberty North. We are back with your daily sports show. I'm Zach Klug. And I'm Nick Fry, and we've had a busy weekend with sports, and we are going to start off by talking about swimming. The Liberty North women's swim and dive team competed in the Como Invitational at Mizzou on Saturday. The Eagles picked up a number of state times during the meet, with Kate Heiser qualifying in the 100 free, 200 free, and 100 back, and Bryn Mattis qualifying in the 100 breaststroke. Heiser also set new school records in both the 100 back and 100 free. Heiser and Mattis teamed up with Katie Shepard and Melissa Hagen in the 400 free relay to also set a new school record. The 400 free relay finished 7th overall. On the other hand, Grace Erickson medaled in diving, placing 8th. Other individuals who scored for the Eagles were Heiser in the 200 free and in the 100 back, Mattis in the 200, and uh, Hagen in the 500 free. In addition to the 400 free relay, finishing 7th, the 200 medley relay of Shepard, Mattis, Ashlyn Pope, Heiser, uh, and they finished 9th. And the 200 free re relay of August Letcher, Hagen, Maggie, Maggie Steinbeck, and Pope finished 12th. You know, this was a great weekend for swim and dive. A lot of uh, records been broken. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't wait to see how the rest of the season turns out. Uh, as the Eagles finished 10th out of 27 teams. So let's see if they can keep it up. Mm -hmm. The Liberty North wrestling team went to North Kansas City High School this weekend to compete in their invitational. The boys took third as a team with nine wrestlers getting on the podium. Fourth placers, we have Seth Danner, Josh Perks, Vincent Restivo, Cayman Tatum, and Levi Anderson. Third placers, we have Tanner Lovell and Andrew Stevenson. And second place, we have Jimmy Abron. Congratulations to all of you on a great weekend. Wrestling is back in action tomorrow at Park Hill South, and next week is the big meet as they face Liberty in the Fieldhouse. So make sure to come out and support the team. Yeah, I can't wait for that. I know uh, I'll be there, and I'm sure you will too, because that'll be so exciting. As many of you know, history was made Friday night for the girls' basketball team as they were playing in the Sonic Classic Tournament at Ray Peck. The girls beat a very, very tough St. Teresa. The Eagles started off down, but towards the end of the second half, they started to keep their way back into the game. Tia Emerson had a buzzer beater at the half, and the girls went up 20 to 19. Nick, this was a very close game. Very close. Very exciting throughout. As uh, the girls' second half, they looked determined and unbeatable. Uh, the girls extended their lead little by little, but never gave it up at the third quarter, being 30 to 25. Wow. You know, uh, still a nail biter, right? Yeah, there. very, very much. Uh, but in the fourth quarter, the girls had locked down defense and created many turnovers to end up getting the win. Mia Emerson had a great tournament, leading the team for the second time in the tournament. We talked about her earlier in the yeah. week with 13 points, and Jamie Jackson not far behind as she led uh, last week also with nine. This, uh, uh, their season improves to a record of four and four, sorry, uh, and I can't wait to see how they uh, turn out. This is probably one of our better girls teams that we've had oh, at yeah. this school. Keep up the great work, ladies. 
This has been your daily sports show. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Nick Fry. And I'm Zach Klug. Hello, everybody. I'm Landon Brown. I'm here with... Celeste Major. Okay, so what are we doing a Spirit Week for? Um, it's for court warming on the 26th. Okay, so do you just want to go through all of the uh, days and everything and what's going on sure. in those days? So Monday is Don't Sleep on Liberty North, and it's PJ Day. And then Tuesday, we have our hat day. It's Get Your Head in the Game. And for this day, if you guys bring $1 at all the entrances, then you can give it to them, and then you'll get a sticker, and you can wear your hat. And then Wednesday is We Don't Go Together Wednesday. So that's kind of like our rival day. So, like, somebody wears MU, somebody wears KU. And then Thursday is Jersey Day Thursday. And then Friday is Go for the Gold Friday, which is, like, the game and all of that. So what does uh, Eagle Empire, We Rule the 152 mean? Okay, so originally we had one, We Rule the 152. So, like, the Highway 152 is kind of the thing that uh, splits us in Liberty. Hmm. And then Eagle Empire is just kind of like the bigger overarching kind of thing, like crowns and like Liberty North is better, like go Ellen, yeah. I got it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for the interview. Now back to the front. All right, thank you Landon and Celeste for that. Yep, and tomorrow's the first late start of 2018, so that should be fun. And make sure to go support the Lady Eagles as they play tonight at seven o'clock. They're on a roll, keep supporting them. But until tomorrow, we'll catch, catch you on, on the, the North, north side. side.